Today, you and I are going to learn to do this. I like to call Joel Turcott a wizard because he has a way of stretching time and doing absolutely magical things with his hi-hat. So I asked Joel if he wanted to be on the show and teach a couple of his incredible hi-hat patterns. We're gonna go over both straight and triplet vocabulary and I'll be learning and practicing right along with you guys. Let's get started. <laughs> so here's a great sextuplet left foot hi-hat snare kick groove that works really well in the context of a shuffle groove or really in anything. So I'll break down to two parts, it's 12 notes. The first part is Left foot, right, right, left, left kick. Left foot, right, right, left, left. And the second part is going to start with a downbeat. Left hand, left foot, right, right, left, left. And accent that first left hand really well. So those together go... So in context, if you were doing a shuffle, you could throw that in either just kind of once in there or repeat it a bit like that. It sounds like this in the context. sharing with you guys my actual process learning and practicing this pattern. I still can't do it very well, and that's great. I don't expect to get it overnight. That's a really important thing to remember when you're practicing something new, is that you have to give it time to absorb into your muscle memory until it becomes second nature, really. This is interesting to talk about like placement of where you put these chunks of notes too. When you have a little grouping like this, where do you like to place it within the beat to execute different things? So the, the my rule of thumb for this is anytime you're implementing the left foot in that setting, never hit a hi-hat as the note prior because then that opens it. Yeah. So I always have to navigate if I'm just keeping it between kick, snare, and hat, I always have to, the note before the left foot has to be a kick or a snare. Because if it's on the hi-hat, then you get the ch Yeah. So it's like, that dictates it too. Now let's dive into how to practice this triplet pattern. I'll leave a link below to a longer practice version of this video so you can play along to the pattern for a longer period of time. We're going to practice just the first half of the pattern. So the six notes leading up to the back beat. Back beat? What? the six notes leading up to the backbeat. The two key things to keep in mind here are, one, you need to develop clear articulation with your hi-hat foot. I'll use an H to notate the hi-hat chick with the left foot. And two, focus on subdivision accuracy with every note of the pattern. Now let's play the second half of the pattern, which is left hand, left foot, right, right, left, left. The tricky part of this is playing that left foot directly after the backbeat. It's a tricky placement for your left foot. When I tried it at first, 
it felt really uncomfortable to play. Part of the trick is learning to balance yourself on the kit to accommodate what your left foot has to do. Finally, now that we have both halves of this pattern apart, it's time to put them together and to loop it. I find that even if I have both halves of the pattern really locked into my muscle memory, putting them together is its own separate process. And I still have to do the work to put it all together. What are you doing in this? Most of it's sex templates, but that little fast one is, that's like some 30 second note. You know, honestly, a huge one is it's left foot, right, right, left, man. All in the hi-hat? Like the left, left hand as well? Left, right, right, left, all in the hat? The little scoop up. Oh, you do the flick. Right. I don't do this. I move my hand a different way. What do you put after that? I mean, it alters like, again, I, at this point, the left foot, I've incorporated the left foot so much that I work it into a ton of improv where like I have my kind of go-to patterns with stuff like that, but then I also just come up with shit on the fly. But like it can alter, but like you could do a um, right, left, left kick after that. So like left foot, right, right, left, right, left, left kick. All Again, all the hands in the hi-hat. So what I would do with that would be like the right, left, left. I would do the left, left on a snare. Yeah. And with right, left, left kick. Yeah. yeah. And that's a great 16th note or even a 32nd, like, like right before a downbeat. Like one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's sick. Or you could reverse that, do the right, left, left, kick one first. That's definitely yeah. harder. That sounds harder because you got to do kick hat, uh, which is hard to get in time. Then it ends with a ghost on the left before the downbeat. So like, like you got that extra left into the... It's got the left, the single left hand at the end. 